I don't know how many times this has happened to you, but it's happened to me many times. No matter how well you store your clay, when you go to use it again, it is just harder than a rock. Hello, my name is Laura Lynn. I wanna welcome you to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Video Studio. We are here today to teach you how to reconstitute metal clay. So you will need a hammer because you're gonna be using that to break up the large pieces of clay. You also are going to need either a coffee grinder or a mortar and pestle. Um, you can also use a spice grinder, but please, whatever you use, dedicate it to just precious metal clay as you do not want to do any food consumption afterwards. You will also need a small paintbrush. You will need a tea strainer or fine mesh sifter. You also will need a, either a rubber clay shaper or a palette knife or anything that you can just use basically that once you add the water to the clay, you want to kind of start mixing it up. You will need some clean film or plastic wrap. And then you also will need a clay roller, either one like this or one like this. This you can use for any clay that's dried out on you or any projects that you've made that didn't quite work out. As long as you've not fired the clay, you can still reconstitute it. So let's get started here. Okay, so you do want to find a place where you can go. It's safe to hammer. I'm using this um, for the video, but you do not need that. You can just use it right on your tabletop or just someplace safe to hammer. And then I'm putting this plastic over it mainly to make it easy for me to move my powder pieces later on and I don't have to pick up this heavy block. So, so as I mentioned, you can use, you know, it, it can be projects that you've done that didn't work out or anything like that. And then you just want to break them up to make, make it smaller pieces so that it's easier to grind in the grinder. Now you also, I didn't mention that at the beginning, you also are gonna want two containers, one to store uh, the powder once it's all been reconstituted and then make sure to label it so that you don't mix up your different types of clay because you can use this process. I'm currently using the bronze clay, but you can use the same process for silver, for copper, for any other precious metal clays. And now we are going to um, use the grinder to pulverize this. Okay, so when you are grinding, you're gonna to want to shake it up and stuff, because if when you first start, you can hear the big chunks, but if you just notice there, there was no extra clunking sound, that means that I have pulverized all of the clay. So one thing I will do um, after, uh, just before I'm gonna take it out, is I will turn it upside down so that all the stuff will fall in here, and it'll be easier for me to put it into my sifter, so. And kind of tap it to get, because this is very, like I said, it's very pulverized. So you want to tap it to get as much as you can out. And here is where the paintbrush comes in handy. As you can see, all of that is clay that you don't want to waste. So just use the paintbrush to get all of that into your lid. As I mentioned, they can still have some large pieces in it, so you want to sift it so that um, you can separate the large pieces from the small pieces. Okay, so now that you got it in there, you're just gonna shake it back and forth. You wanna separate the powder from the, any large pieces that might be left in here. So you just kinda go back and forth and it's leaving just this wonderful pulverized clay underneath. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to mix, reconstitute the clay. You're just gonna put some clay in a tray. You want to control how much water you put on it because it does not take much water. 
So that's why you're using the spray bottle. You just have to kind of spray. And then you use your little stick to stir it up. And I'll be able to put a little more than that because I'm using a lot more clay here. So just add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want to add too much. Um, if you end up with too much, you can always add more clay to it. If you don't have more clay, then you've made paste, clay paste, which you can use for your projects too. And just to let you know, this will wash right up. You just, you just take it over with some water and all the stuff will come out. Okay, so now that I have my clay in here, it's still not, we want to make sure that every single particle has water in it, and so that's why you're going to use this. So you're going to just put this on, and then you're going to roll it. Okay. And you're going to open it and then fold it on itself. And then roll some more. And the goal of this is just to make sure that every single particle of clay gets moisture put back into it. I already have one that I did earlier today that I've set aside. Um, and so this is what it looks like once it is done. So now that I'm ready, I am just going to pull it out. I'm not going to be making anything today, but I just wanted to show you this is what the clay looks like after it's set. And it pretty much looks like your normal metal clay when you first purchased it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you save some money on your old dried out clay. I do want to thank you for joining us today. Please don't forget to share and like the video. My name is Laura Lynn and have a wonderful day.